Today we're in chapter F of the ASC Steel Manual and we are comparing differences between the 14th Maroon Edition and the 15th Blue Edition. Specifically, we're talking about the design of members for Flexure. And what we're talking about is section F7, which refers to HSS members. And you will notice in the 15th edition, they have actually updated their limit state to include lateral torsional buckling, LTB. This was not included in the 14th edition as a limit state. It has now been brought in and included in the new 15th edition. Well, what does that mean? Let's jump over. Previously, they left a user note in the 14th edition that stated very long rectangular HSS bent about their major axis are subject to lateral torsional buckling. However, the specification provides no equation for this limit state since beam deflection will control for all reasonable cases. So what they're ultimately talking about is most often you have, you know, an HSS of some size here, but ultimately lateral torsional buckling only comes into effect when you get into extremely irregular HSSs. So some that are incredibly deep in comparison to their width. But for most cases, your deflection criteria controls over this lateral torsional buckling limit state. So they never included it in the 14th edition. In the 15th, they now include an equation. They show you your different limit states, one being yielding, two being flange local buckling, an additional thing that they've added is actually they split it up into HSS and for box sections. So the HSS, as we know, as defined in the tables in the front, but you can also fabricate some custom box sections, which might have square edges instead of HSSs. Traditionally have those rounded uh, edges with some type of radii configuration and thicknesses aren't quite what we call them out as. So. They've actually now gone further into depth and split it into two cases where the equations are slightly different. So that's a new thing. The other limit state, web local buckling, um, they give you sections that are compact where it doesn't apply for case A. For case B, they give you non-compact option and they give you an equation. And then something new again that they've added is case C for sections with slender webs. This was not originally included. In the 14th edition, it's now here for the 15th, and it breaks down into compression flange yielding and compression flange local buckling. The last thing I do want to specify with web local buckling, you will see, and they give it in the user note, is that there are no HSS members with uh, slender webs. So you would never need to check this if you were doing um, a factory issued HSS member. That would only apply then for those custom box shapes. Okay, so that's why they've included it here. And lastly, our new limit state, lateral torsional buckling has been included and they give you criteria and equations in order to solve for this uh, limit state. Very similar to other beam geometries for steel, but you will notice at the end here, they give you a user note that says lateral torsional buckling will not occur in square sections or sections bending about their minor axis. Um, in HSS sizes, the flexion will usually control before there's a significant reduction in flexural strength due to lateral torsional buckling, okay? So this is kind of the updated user note that they gave you at the very beginning of the 14th edition. They've now reworded it here in the 15th edition and added more meat to it. The same is true for box sections and lateral torsional buckling will usually only be a consideration for sections with high depth to width ratios. I mentioned that at the very beginning, I'll draw it again here real quick. When you start to get into some sections that are very, very deep and not very wide, that's where this comes into effect. If you liked this bite-sized knowledge, leave a like down below, subscribe if you haven't yet. We're gonna continue to roll out this new series of bite-sized information that you can use to help improve your design and your designing capabilities. See everybody in the auditorium next time. Later.